What's up everyone? So today we're going to be reacting to Floyd Mayweather's best moments. I didn't watch this yet, so I'm watching it for the first time with you. Oh, remember the glory days? He was such a defensive genius. Look at this. Floyd! I remember that. That bro. Damn, 2011. Remember that? I remember that fight like yesterday. Here we go. I'm getting excited for this. Turn it up my headphones. Oh, remember that? Victor Ortiz was getting destroyed. I mean, really, look how good Floyd Mayweather was. Look, even if you don't like him, you gotta admit, he was like the best of a generation. Look at everything he did. He was so hard to hit. Look at him. Defensive wizard. Look at that. And again, he almost got there. Victor Ortiz was young. He was going for it. I remember the controversy. I won't say it just, just in case you didn't see it. Look at that. He thought he had something there. He's using all of his ability. Then he headbutted him. He headbutted him. He was frustrated. Look at that. Oh. Protect yourself at all times. He tried to tap, he tried to tap the gloves. And Floyd hit him, knocked him out. And then Larry Merchant got mad. Oh. <laughs> You can't do that in a fight. He gave it to him. And then he came in there with Miguel, Miguel Cotto. He had that orange, that black. Okay, gentlemen, Caballero, you already see your stress. Cotto was, at the time, Cotto was the man. I believe I predicted all these fights right on this channel, too, by the way. I didn't see anyone gonna, that was going to be Floyd, really. Even uh, Canelo. Kodo was going for it. He had a vicious body attack. Remember that? Look at that left hook to the body. Floyd is just nice. He was like Pernell Whitaker, like defense plus. Nice. Again, Kodo's frustrated. He's just missing Kodo. He made Kodo miss a lot of those punches. They're not landing clean. The jab, he's searching. Seems like yesterday. Floyd Mayweather decision win. But look at that. Look at that. Clean. He punches around Cotto's gloves and then he throws an uppercut, a left uppercut, right up the middle. This guy. I can't believe he's still fighting even though it's exhibition fights. And there's Robert Guerrero. Oh man, I, I yearn for these days again. Mr. Guerrero, let's do this. Yo, the that ref tried to make do a Mills Lane. Let's do this. Nobody's trying to do that. The ref would be like, "Let's do this before the fight, please." Left hook by Guerrero. Left hook by Guerrero. But he did not stop trying. Guerrero was tough. Guerrero was a, he was going for it. Southpaw, it's a lefty. Some blood out of the right nostril of Mayweather. Oh. And then gets caught with that remaining in the tenth. He was hitting Mayweather in his fight. Mayweather told us he had Mayweather now. He had Mayweather's nose. Mayweather now putting on his dancing shoes momentarily. Oh, nice. And look at the way he uses his legs and the way he turns out. The way he gets out of there. But then when Floyd did decide to get on the ropes, he would do like rope and dope maneuvers, but not get hit much. It was always exciting because everyone wanted Floyd to get knocked out and lose. Not everyone, a lot of people. <laughs> they were mad. They were mad. Floyd was so good. People got mad when he won. And right here, I predicted this right on this channel. In prime, no excuses. Uh, Canelo, 23 years old. Floyd was much older, well into his 30s. It's just so much better. It's just skills. Canelo couldn't do anything. It was like a sparring session. Look at this. Look at the footwork. You can't hate. You cannot try to say anything. It'd be lying that they said Floyd wasn't great. Look at that. Hey, Canelo is, is good. He's just as good and fresh and young. And he just never fought anyone like this. 
And Floyd is just, look at that. He's making a mission pace. He's giving him a boxing lesson. He went with the, went, went, no, through the right hand. He just went with it to take some of the, the steam off it. He won like every round easy. Easy, easy money. Woo! Back in the day. And then my dad, I love my dad. I got two of these posters. I believe I, I got two. I won them from Showtime for all my predictions. Boom. One and two. Maidana, if you do, don't know, Argentine, so Argentina had amazing power. Nobody wanted to mess with this guy. The guy had just tremendous power. He beat up Adrian Broner, exposed him. You remember that. If you're a little boxer fan, you, you know what I'm talking about. This guy is just punches so hard that he was going for it. This is the 12th round. These are just like quick clips. Damn. And Mayweather was fighting with him. He had, no, nobody gave him anything. He earned this. Majority decision. Majority decision. Look at that. Look at the more Mayweather all muscular ripped up. 2014. This is the rematch. And, and Floyd wasn't dunking. No, nobody can hate. He actually rematched somebody that had like Mike Tyson like power in his division. It was crazy. He's presuming that who's control. Similar to what we saw when Canelo faced Fighting Floyd Mayweather, I'm trying this to give some type of uh, analogy. Yeah, it fight. must have been like, like, I can't even think of one. <laughs> it must have been like a, me pouring a cup of coffee at 7-Eleven versus an all-star barista pour, making me a cup of coffee. Like a world-renowned, a trained barista making a great cup of coffee versus just pouring a cup of coffee. I mean... This guy is just so, it was crazy. He just went to every fight. And this was, of course, Pacquiao predicted on his channel. That was quick. I don't know what happened. There must have been a copyright content ID match on his channel, and they clicked it out. But it was an easy performance. And like I said, it would be a boring fight before the fight actually happened. And then Berto. I don't think anyone expected Andre Berto to win this fight. What I say you must really. obey. Good luck. Another Touch ref with the, but what I say this you must really obey. Awesome. Nah. Yeah. It's like trying to imitate Bu Michael Buffer. There's only one Let's Get Ready to Rumble. There's only one Mills Lane with Let's Get It On. If you watched him back in the day when Mike Tyson was fighting, Let's Get It On. Mills Lane was the first ref to ever do it, and nobody ever came up with something catchy like that after. Just like with, with Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Anyway, look at Berto. Berto's tough. Muscular, going for it, and this was the beginning of the end. You could really appreciate the way Floyd just gets out of the way of those punches. He's just, he's just a wizard in there. Good fights. This is what boxing is about. The master. See, I love. It's the master class. I love to see like pressure fighters as well, but I love to see sweet sides in full on full display. That's what you're looking at right here. Look at look at that. He drops the left. Floyd. And he leans back and he just sees everything. He sees everything. There's nobody like this. There's only one Floyd Mayweather. It's crazy. He he arguably makes it look easy. It's just so, so, the skills are just next level. Undefeated, nobody can beat him. Nobody, everyone tried, he fought the best. And still, it was good. Should have fought Pacquiao earlier though, but I believe we would have been the same outcome. Don't hate, appreciate, and there it is. We just watched Floyd Mayweather, Jr. highlights, career highlights. If you want to see the video, I'll put the link in the description. Good stuff, Fight Squad. I enjoyed it. Yo, that was so dope. 
happy holidays and it's so funny this channel got monetized i want to tell you all it's hilarious you could go back i had a twenty-two thousand views video i usually was getting a thousand two thousand sometimes 300 views which is a lot because it's only got three thousand subscribers and then they monetized the channel and every time now youtube is so shady that the videos do nothing they get like 50 views and under now that the channel's monetized it's hilarious to me it, it come on is this more than a coincidence it's video after video oh my goodness so funny but anyway i hope you enjoyed this one until the next one let me know in the comments below what you want me to check out and talk about i'll be back